Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft experience here on the bakery server. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Today is going to be a very, 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 very different episode because all I want to do today is ask you guys a question or propose to you something that I'm having trouble with right now. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do in this world. You know, the past couple of weeks I've been bringing Minecraft back and I've been super happy because I, I have my Amplified, I have my single player, and then I was like, cool, this week I'm gonna do some bakery server, you know, bring that back, bring the, bring the hype, bring the excitement back. Hop on here and I don't know what I wanna do. And it's not like there's nothing to do, because there's plenty of stuff to do. You know, we could work on this jungle base. I want to pretty this up. I want to extend this. You know, we built this last episode. We could build a, a collection system over there. You know, we could work on another farm for down here, or another secret underground thing. There's a lot to do. There's so much to do. And I'm willing to do it. And I want to do it all. But I just came up with this. I come up with this feeling of, but why? Like, why do I do it? And it's not like, it's not like it's, you know, like I'm having an existential crisis or anything. It's just like, what is the point of the bakery server? You know, like in my single player world, it's like, that's my Minecraft unhinged, unchallenged. You get to do whatever it is I want to do. In the Amplified world, it's like, well, I've got to live around the Amplified terrain. And that's kind of the cool, exciting thing. That's the draw to it. But when you see a bakery server episode uploaded, you're like, what makes that different? You know, is it the people? Is it the jungle base? Is it, what about this place, about this world, makes this any different than any other single player world? Or, or not single player, but like survival world. I don't know. I don't know. And I think I need to figure that out. And... Also, I think part of it, I, I honestly do think part of it, is I'm not all that happy. Well, I am. I'm really happy. But I'm all not that impressed or, like, satisfied with my jungle base here. Because, here, let's take a look. A lot of the farms I have are kind of thrown together. Not necessarily in a bad way, like they're bad farms. Like, take it, for example this uh this potato farm as well as this uh uh carrot farm they're the same design they're nothing too fancy it's the same principle it's the same place i could switch these crops around and it's just the same way and i don't know i just feel like it's not all that great and you know we have this beautiful beautiful rabbit farm i'm really happy with it this is a cool farm but then again, over here, we just have the sheep pen. It's it's the same kind of design. And if I'm thinking like, oh, I need a pig farm or a cow farm, which we need. Those are the next two things on my list. It's like, okay, are we just going to build stuff in jungle trees and jungle wood and leaves and just crate off an area, fence off an area and just have them in there? Because that's boring. And that's formulaic you know that's not i'm sorry i'm sick i'm sniffing a lot just give me a second it's formulaic and it's getting repetitive at this point i'm happy with this I, you know it's not too repetitive right now but and i especially love oh, it's just wonderful i love the things on here you know i think this is one of the most compact but efficient uh, tree farms ever. You know, I'm happy with our skeleton farm that's over there. I'm happy with this. This looks stinking fantastic. And in the next episode, I'm going to get the emeralds so that we can replace these uh, this green wall. That's the, the plan I have so far anyway. But after that, it's like, what do I do? Like, what's the purpose? Like, what's the big plan? That's the thing. We need a big plan plan we need a huge goal you know my goal for my single player world is really like 
just build the insane farms. Obviously, we have like the walled off city there as well, but it's like I want the most insane, efficient, overpowered farms ever. And that's what I'm going with my single player. My amplified, I want that same goal but an amplified terrain and I want to make it look aesthetically just phenomenal. But with this one, it's like, well, I wanted a tree house and I've kind of got that. I've got a lot of that actually, you know, I've, I'm not giving myself too much credit here, but this is a lot of work. Like this is multi-dimensional. It's overlapping on itself. It twists around and it's just really, look at all those creepers in there. That's wonderful. You know, I love this. I love how it looks. I love how it feels. I think it's fantastic. And I love this little village down here that I've got going on. Not a village, but I've got these, these buildings down here. I might do more of it. We'll do more of it eventually, you know, and out in throughout here, I want to make this more fleshed out, but I just don't know what the big goal is like what is the goal of this bakery server so i don't know what it is i don't know and that's been my frustration so far this is one of my favorite builds ever like this pumpkin and melon farm they're right here and right here but everything else is just so extra it's just so on top of it building these two small little things i mean it's nothing but having this indoor pool. It's just, I love this. I love the server. I love this place. But I want to I want to build it for something. So so here are some end goals that I have in mind. Let's talk about them. Let's talk about them. Number 1 goal that I think we could do in 114. When 114 hits, I think a really good goal is to start a village. Now, this goal that specific goal, starting a village and kind of focusing, you know, my gameplay around that village because of how different trading is. I could go out and find, I want to find one of them sexy snow uh, villages because those things are super cool and, well, no pun intended, but I want to almost restart in that village and just kind of, I've always wanted to build in a village and soup up a village and make it pretty and everything and make it fortify it and all that stuff. Uh, so that's something we could do. Um, and it kind of our goal being, you know, get as rich as we can with as many emeralds. And that's where the farms come in. And, and we could revisit this, get some more efficient farms, redesign some stuff. But I feel like I'm just getting tired of this jungle thing. You know, it's like farm up jungle trees, form a jungle path over to this tree, make a little flat area, build your farm. <sighs> Next thing we could do, the next thing we could do is uh, what I think would, could be cool with the server and everybody is we could make some sort of arena. Now, it could be at spawn, it could be near spawn, it could be anywhere in the surrounding area, or it could also be somewhere in our jungle. For example, we could fly on over here and we could like just completely decimate an area over here because I started kind of putting stuff over here and I want to do something over here because we got a conduit and everything and it's beautiful and I want to do like a maybe we could do the the village here have a little I don't know or you know clear out the area like I was saying before and have a huge arena and uh, we could just have a beautiful place for us to fight. And so the meta of that could be, you know, I'm I'm getting XP, I'm making XP farms, I'm getting potions, I'm I'm farming spiders, I'm farming leather, diamond, iron, that sort of stuff over here. And uh, in order to to equip the farm for or the the arena for whatever it is it needs, you know, those are just some sort of basic ideas that I have going on. I think the villager one is more likely because that's more 114. We could also we could also just kind of completely leave the jungle here and uh, we could completely go to a, a uh, what do you call it? an ocean because that could be really cool with 113 and everything. I haven't really done that yet in any of my worlds, but uh, that could be something that I do is go to an ocean and completely farm underwater, even though that could be so completely annoying. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Those are just some of my ideas. So I just wanted to spend some time with you guys today and just kind of go over that stuff, you know, go over some of my feelings and I love this world. I love this enchanting. This enchanting thing is so cool. It's like one of my favorites ever. Uh, there's so many of my like favorite builds in here. That's why I feel bad. I feel like I don't want to do anything 
that I wouldn't be proud of. Like a, a thrown together carrot farm or a thrown together sheep farm. You know, I want to do this right. But in order to do it right, I need to know what goal I'm trying to achieve. So I'm going to try to figure that out. I apologize if y'all just love the bakery server and you want to see more of this. But that's the episode you guys are getting this week. I'm going to try to see if I can't get another episode of my single player or uh, amplified episode out this week. But um, know that I haven't forgotten about the bakery server, you know, so it's still here. It's still my heart, but I just don't know what the end goal is. So <sighs> thinking, think, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for your comments and your support on the new channel. I'm just having an absolute blast. So thank you guys so much for watching again. And until the next absolutely beautiful Minecraft morning, I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful.